Jane Castile has seen a lot over the last 107 years, but this 4th of July held a couple of surprises. Singing happy birthday to celebrate the big day at the Marie DeVille Senior Living Facility in Town and Country. Residents, staff, and Jean's family organized the celebration with cards in their hands, but with social distance. A band, decorations, and a very special cake for a very special lady on her very special day. She was a homemaker and a wife and a mother. Jean was born in 1913, and at the time, Woodrow Wilson was the president. The woman's suffrage took place in Washington, D.C., and bread cost an average 5.6 cent per pound. She raised us mostly in the 40s and 50s, so there were not a lot of the modern conveniences that you and I are used to and familiar with. She had to do her own laundry in the basement with a ringer washing machine, which was a modern invention for the time. She was the oldest of five children and uh, grew up in St. Louis and Jennings. And so we had a lot of cousins and um, we visited them all. They all came over all the time. We went over to their house all the time. We have great memories and stories. Jean's family tells me that she says that the secret to living a long life is a secret. She lived for her family, really. That she's always had a very positive attitude. She never says a bad word about anyone, and she never thinks that anything's a problem. The facility remains COVID-19 free and have been all along. Jean has lived the 1918 pandemic and now this one. This is her second pandemic. Um, nine children, 17 grandchildren, 25 great greats, and, and uh, it's, it's an amazing testimony to her. And her family came out, we're social distancing. Um, I thought about it a little while ago that Marie de Villa is 60 years old, and she was here 47 years before we opened up. So that's a, a long, long time, and, and we're blessed to have her. In town and country, I'm Kelly Hoskins.